Hello, welcome to this Cartoon Smart video tutorial. We are exploring Adobe Illustrator CS5, and this video is about the bristle brush. And it's one of your brushes in your brush definitions uh, palette here. And you're going to see that right down there. And if you don't see that, it, you might not have that uh, enabled. So go to the end of your control panel and make sure brushes is selected. And you're probably not seeing that because it's. That's what we're doing now. Make sure your brush is on, and if you have your control panel open, you should see that right about there. And it might either look like that, or it might look like that. Otherwise, you can go to your window menu and make sure you have your brushes palette open, palette panel, whatever you want to call it, it's fine. Now we have your bristle brushes right here, and like most brushes, the bristle brush is designed to work with the paintbrush tool. Uh, like for instance if I click on this default bristle brush here switch over to my drawing tablet and draw a stroke now you can also apply a bristle brush uh, stroke uh, to any path that you make for instance like uh, maybe that line or this line here uh, but to do so you need to select those and then click on the uh, brush in the panel here in order to apply it the paintbrush will actually draw that right out for you and the other tools you have to apply it afterwards like the other brush tools the color is determined by the stroke color here so if I were to take out to draw another line here another brush stroke and change my color of the stroke it's going to affect uh, the bristle brush stroke as you can see now to see the options for the particular brush all you need to do is this Make sure that your brushes panel is open, or this right here, and just double click on that particular brush. I'll do it on this one though. And then you're going to have your bristle brush options open. And in this panel, it shows you what parameters this brush is defined by. For instance, size, uh, bristle length, density, thickness, uh, paint opacity, and uh, stiffness. And the bristle brush is something that really works well with the drawing tablet. If you're trying to use a mouse you're not gonna you know, get the most out of it and up here you have a name you can rename it if you like but this is a default brush it comes uh, with, with your new document when you open it and if you want to you can actually manipulate that and resave it as something else. I'll just move that over here a bit like so and you can see if I move the size up it changed the size of the stroke and bristle length and percentage it seems to be similar to the size and density kind of just compacts more little strokes together so basically it's just a path of multiple strokes where each one of them uh, seems to have a separate opacity to it because each of these little strokes within that path seem to represent each bristle that you have all you have to do is really just kind of just mess around with these to see what they do and I'm not much of a painter I'm more of a pen and ink kind of guy so I haven't done any real painting in my life so I'm not going to try to even sound you know like an expert when it comes to paint paint brushes or anything like that but if you do like to paint some of these things might make a little bit more sense to you than they probably do to me and we also have some presets in here now this one is called a round point and you can also choose um, a blunt round blunt round curve and each one of these you can go in and change all these parameters. Like I said, this is a default brush. Well, until I started messing with it anyway, it was a default brush. Opacity right here, uh, see stiffness. You know, this is not uh, a tool that I really studied, and it's just kind of using my intuition as as far as how it works. And you're not really limited to what you have in here. I mean, a lot of options. You can play around quite a bit. Like I said, I'm not a painter, so I don't really use this tool. So not only can we manipulate some of the um, presets that we have in here, we cancel out of that, we also have uh, a bristle brush library uh, built into Illustrator. So if you go to um, Open Brush Library, click on the little thing in the corner here, and go down to Open Brush Library, and you can't see it because it's way over there. Just move that right there for you. Click on that. Open Brush Library. So go over to that. Let's open it, and here is our bristle brush library. Pull that 
that open. It's just really just a bunch of presets, probably similar to what you're going to find if you were to open this uh, brush and look in here. So like I said, I'm not an expert on painting, not an expert on brushes, certainly not an expert on the bristle brush here in Illustrator. It's something that really needs to be explored and experienced for yourself. So I'm going to leave you to do that. I just wanted to let you know that was there and where things are. Just one last thing that I did forget to mention. You can create a new bristle brush right from the new brush uh, tab right here in the brushes panel. And just select bristle brush and then click OK. And then you have a fresh new brush that you can name anything you want and adjust all the settings if you're happy with it. And uh, that will be it this time. And for Cartoon Smart, I'm Brian Zakowski. Thank you for watching.